Hi, my name is Jaren Kellenethan. And I'm Harrison Sharp. And this is another episode of Tailwind Flash Briefing. Today we're going to be talking about a new Facebook feature that's slowly rolling out on the platform. It's going to give businesses the opportunity to sell directly to the consumers on Facebook and Instagram. Now you might have already seen this on Instagram where accounts are able to tag their products by linking a catalog, um, but this is going to be basically giving businesses a storefront on Facebook and Instagram. Facebook shops will be completely free and businesses will be able to choose what products they want on there. They will be able to apply their own branding onto their shop front. Um, and customers are going to be able to purchase directly through Messenger and interact with the business as they would if they were in person at the store. Instagram will also be introducing live shopping, which will allow creators to promote actual products on live streams and consumers will be able to buy the products when they're watching. Kind of similar to TV shopping networks. Lastly, Facebook will be able to provide loyalty programs so that repeat customers can you know, save their recent purchases and the business will be able to suggest uh, other products that they might like. So J Jaren, what do you think about, uh, what do you think about the loyalty program? Do you think um, given Facebook's record in the past, just with user data, that it's going to be a good idea? Well, I think it's going to be great for businesses. This might be a little bit of a hot topic considering, you know, so many people are becoming a lot more aware of protecting their data, especially with California's new privacy act. Um, some consumers might be a little bit hesitant knowing that, you know, they're paying directly through the platform and Facebook's going to be able to recommend so many things and expose that they know so much about you. Interesting. And also, how do you think, how do you think something like this would affect small businesses on websites like Etsy? I think this is going to be a great new way for businesses to get in front of their audiences. They're already promoting their product on Facebook and Instagram. So giving these their customers the you know seamless transaction process is going to be great for small business owners. Okay. Well, now let me ask you, would you ever buy something? off of this, uh, this platform? I am a sucker for a good ad. You know, if there's a product that I don't necessarily need, but they know how to find me and they know when to find me, I'm not afraid to buy anything off Facebook or Instagram. Gotcha, so you're all about the, the personalization then. Oh yeah, it's always, they're telling me what I didn't know I needed. Google just launched a new ad format uh, that they begin testing this, this year called Swirl. Now, Swirl will allow businesses to upload 3D models or create new ones in Google's own poly service. Users can rotate, zoom, and expand 3D elements in Swirl ads. Now, these Swirl ads are available in three sizes, and full screen expansion is optional. So you can fit the whole screen, which is nice for an ad. I mean, I guess the bigger the better. If they can only see your ad, then it's the only thing they can focus on, I suppose. Brands that have been testing these ads include Purina, the pet food, Nissan, Adidas, and Belvedere Vodka. Once they release some information on that, we'll get back to you on how effective these new 3D ads are. But I think it's a pretty cool concept, personally. You know, I think if the technology is available, then people should go for it. I'm glad Google's making, making it accessible to uh, companies that may have those 3D assets just lying around. So Harrison, do you think that 3D model ads are going to be kind of the new norm or do you think this is another, you know, ad trend? Hmm. I think on 2D screens, they will not necessarily be the norm. However, I think as environmental advertising becomes more and more advanced in what we can do with bendable technology or bendable screen technology and just placements around, I think that, um, as these technologies become more advanced, we're going to see a lot more three-dimensional um, asset use. Um, but as far as as far as two D screens, I think that this is still kind of a novelty, and that traditional digital advertising will still reign supreme. Have you ever shopped on Amazon and you know use that picture this in my home feature? It's like a see this in my home, and then you can scan your environment and then it places like a 3d model in your house right right 
You know, I haven't, and I just moved. I really should have. I didn't know that was a feature. It's on some products on Amazon. So I wonder if, you know, furniture, retail websites, or even home decor websites roll this feature out. I think it's going to be great for people to like tangibly see what that product is. If it's, you know, probably wouldn't be very useful for t-shirts and pants, but I feel like jewelry or vases or, you know, art sculptures. Well, all right, everybody. Thanks for joining us for another week of the Tailwind Flash Briefing. My name is Harrison Sharp. And I'm Jaren Kalanison. Come check in with us next week for our next episode of the Tailwind Flash Briefing. Have a great week, everybody.